Let's go. Darkness Falls, TBF Gaming, and Hawks jumping into this playthrough. This has been a lot of fun. Darkness Falls, day 16. It's getting a little insane. Last night was nuts. I'm down to 13 health. We got ourselves a little bit wrecked. I need to work on a little bit of medical stuff, and we need to work on the farm a little bit. So I need to kind of stay around the base just a little bit today and see if we can hopefully get some just a little bit of everything i'm going to heal up with some of these real quick but we need a little bit of medical stuff i need to really work on the farm and i might do a quest or two hawks is going to head over to the base place to the horde base because all he has right now is the outline for it he's going to go over there and work on that and see if you can get that going i'm really hoping they didn't do any damage inside of here i don't think they did but i'm not 100 percent sure i hope they didn't jerks uh but yeah i know they damaged a lot of the glass and then they damaged the side a little bit but everything's okay. We still have that weird water thing going on right there. That's fine. Other than that, things are going really well. We got a lot of the crops going. We've got, uh, now that we've got our farmer unlocked, we've been able to get through a bunch of that. Really, I should have done farmer from the very beginning. But we're going to probably knock through a couple quests. Not the White River quest, but just the regular trader quest to get ourselves a little bit of level, a little bit of cash. Because we're definitely hurting on cash and hurting on levels. And we're just a little bit behind on that part because he's doing so much building. We're at level 35. He's at 40. Game stage is looking a little scary right now. We're at game stage 82 is where he's at. So it's going to get a little bit nuts here in a minute. But yeah, let me get to work on this farm. I'm going to make sure that we're good to go inside here, that everyone, everything's kind of set up. It doesn't look like they damaged anything, so we're good to go there. And let's get some work done. Let's do it. Oh, my oven should be ready. Oh, nice. I forgot all about that. I wonder if it cooks faster. You were super excited about that. <laughs> it is a big deal. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you inside like civilized peeps and then I, I know you're going to work on the core base kind of the big question though is do we stay here and keep working on this stuff or like I can dig this place out a little bit and fortify it some just put a couple rows of spikes in something I don't know um if anything I'd say put spikes on the outside oh you know what you need to do hmm. come over here to the workbench and make this is it wood log spikes okay and then upgrade those to iron here's i've got a bunch of oh i dropped my wood boxes but i need a battery for this oven um who did you say had the working chem station uh let me share it with you it is it's a little okay. ways away actually it's not actually it's not that bad Because the dot, the inks take half as many materials to make in the chemist station. Okay. So I can make four inks instead of two. Gen, 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 gen. Trader Chen, working chem. Share. And then uh, with with everyone. And then Hawks' surprise, share with everyone. Just oh, no. Just, just if you're gonna go to Jen's, it's on the way. All I'm asking is that you drive by it and just don't get off your bike. Okay, uh, you, I didn't get, I didn't get working, I didn't get the other one for Jen. Oh, did that? No. Hold on, I thought I hit share. Let me try again. Oh, man. Jen, <laughs> there you go, did, there, share? Yep, got it. <laughs> uh, let's party up too, so you can hear me scream and yep. watch me run away quickly. Very important. So, the surprise is on the way, you say? Yep. Oh, it's so much faster. Oh my God, it's fast. The oven's amazing. Is it really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's great. Instead of 56 seconds, it was like 24 or 14. I'm not sure. Oh my God, that's amazing. I'm about to take all the stuff in there. Okay, so it's that way. That way? Where, what's that way? Where? Uh, northeast. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're both northeast, yeah. And the, the Hawks oh, surprise, yeah, the right. surprise is a little bit on the way, just in the middle of the desert. And then the uh, and then you move into that desert town, and that has some awesome POIs. Okay, I'm gonna but, stop by the trader and get my quest in finally too. Yeah, there's a, uh, a like a light. I think that's the one with the lighthouse. There's an awesome like giant tower. Nice. There's Trader Jen's working cam, and I didn't even finish the whole town. I just did like the top half of it. Wow. That's, that's where I, I ran the mission at the gas station, kind of near the trader. Mm, it was like nice. eight or nine cops. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. Um, that, uh, so yeah, wood, wood, lo wood log spikes is what you're looking for in the, the workbench. Okay. That should keep them hands off the base mostly. 
at least. Awesome. Yeah, we'll do that. I think there's enough iron to upgrade them all. Okay. I think. And this has way more output spots too. It's awesome. The oven does nice. Yeah. That's okay. a floating light pole that's not really there. Okay. Yeah, that happens some. <laughs> Seems legit. It's a thing. Cool. And then I'll have to start looking into like the more advanced meals, like because I got to make dough and then I got to make bread. Oh. It's really cool. Forever bag. A bunch of parts that I got. Nice. I can use that to repair mine. Oh, here's the clown school that sucks. <laughs> nope. I can't believe you found out the clown school. That's awesome. I think it's the same one, but I'm still not going in it. <laughs> I mean, I kind of want to, to see what's in it, but I kind of don't because no. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those common sense compels me, but curiosity says, eh, how bad can it really be? Okay, nurse me back to health. Give me... Uh, I will take all of your steel rounds. Inventory. Give me all your bandages. Because I know me. Uh, okay, give me all your bandages. All your aloe vera. That's a really good price. And... Um... Nah, that's probably it. Yep. I didn't say thank you, but thanks. Which one's that? That's you? Uh, no, the trait, the scout. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. She was super positive today. <laughs> I shouldn't, I shouldn't down her. If you have to be positive in this kind of, if you have to be something in this zombie infested world, it should be positive. There you go. I should give her credit there. Oh, the um, the drop mm -hmm. had just a couple of books in it, and I can't even remember what else, to be honest. It wasn't anything amazing. Okay. I meant to tell you that last time, and then I kind of spaced it off. Um, Aaron. Why do I still have a... Oh, gosh, I didn't drop anything off at the base. Well, not, not, not anything. I just didn't drop off what I should have. I've run into three dire wolves on the way here. Well, three wolves, I guess, not dire wolves. It's not too bad. Oh, we have an extra beaker, too. I don't know if we need it for something right now. Chemistry bench, we will need it for. I kind of, when we get there, I would eventually like to build two benches. So if it's an extra, definitely save it. All right. You said make tons of spikes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, however many things we'll need to go around the outside of that dang base. And... Potentially the... Uh, so which one, the log spike or the spike trap? Log spike, wood log spike. That's just the single cone, right? Correct. Do you want me to place it upside down? Uh, with the, the pokey bit up. Oh, okay, okay. On, the, on like old horde bases, we used to always put them upside down because then they can't damage them, but then they would slow down over them or take damage over them. But I guess since we're just trying to keep them off the side of the base. Yeah. I mean, you could mount them facing out if you want, and see if that works. Oh, no, no. Uh, actually, that might. You try one and see if it'll stick and won't fall. Oh, no, because we got those half walls. Might be a little funky. Oh, yeah, shit. You're right. I forgot all about that, actually. Yeah, we'll just start with that just to at least give us a little bit of buff. And then I've got a bunch of the other spike traps somewhere. Yeah, yeah those things are just so terrible they take damage so fast ah damn it oh the coops are gone oh no did they wreck them all they broke two of them there's still two but because uh, <laughs> they don't have a lot of health they only have like 160. what is this Sorry. Why are there a bunch of statues of naked people looking at this thing? Oh, are you, are you there? Yeah, what is this? Just 
Don't, oh, go, in, don't go inside of it. You didn't go inside of it, did you? Don't go inside. Oh, God. Did you go inside? Well, yeah, you didn't. Oh, no. No, I just didn't drive by it. <laughs> I did drive by it. There was nothing there until I drove up to it. <laughs> also, they aggro for a really long time. <laughs> Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> uh, I can't wait. How far are we in? We're 13 minutes so there's, in. There's 17 zombie bears. I can't wait to check out your 13 minutes in of the video. And like 27,000 birds. This is perfect because you're, you're seeing that before we do the, uh, before you see my video where I just found it, which is like Mondays, I think. <laughs> it's so great. Yeah. Better keep walking, you prick. Yeah, that's great. Saunter your ass back over there to your little hole. Oh, I'm just kidding. Bye. Oh my god, it just this oven's awesome. It's flying through it. I'll get some more storage in there. That is pretty amazing. Yeah, that was a that was a good surprise. Thanks, TBF. No, no, but hey. <laughs> I was definitely thinking of you when I found it. <laughs> I, I immediately you? marked it as hot. Oh, and I have to go hostage. back that way to get to the gen. Oh, god. Yeah, but it, they, they'll all run back to their spot. So oh, I'm sure they will. They'll all run back to their hidey hole and just Coward. <laughs> yeah, because I went up to it, I was like, "Oh, this is cool looking. What is this?" And yeah, I'm I, like, "What's going? What's going I, on over here?" There's a I, bunch I of naked people. I might have stopped diamonds. and gotten off my bike even. <laughs> All right, it's just upgraded to the first stage because I don't want to spend everything. But that's at least good there. Got a beehive to put down. Oh, if you and want to, I need a great go ahead. I can grab us a bunch more ammo. Ammo. It's up to you. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Grab a bunch of what? I can grab us a bunch more iron. It's not a problem. Oh uh, yeah, we probably need to go going for some more. But focus on what you're working on because it's already 15. You want to make sure you get a little done. All right, so we're going to go solo for a second here. We got quite a bit done today. We went ahead and just put a little bit of base defense around the base, and now I'm just working on the chicken coops and then the scarecrows, and there's a couple other things we want to get done. Move that animal snare. That one didn't seem to work, but the other one seemed to work just fine. But we'll get some more animal coops up. Don't have any problem with them building them together or anything like that. I was kind of worried that it didn't have space that it wouldn't work, but it seems to work just fine. We just got to remember to refill it every couple days, so I need to go crazy making a bunch of animal feed. We'll get a few of these, and I eventually want to make kind of like a full-on farm out here, but I still think we're, we're kind of debating if we're going to stay in this area or not. I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do with that, but there you go. Get four or five chicken coops here, and then I'm going to try and do the same on the other side eventually, so I'm going to dig out that little center spot in the middle, but I think we're going to try to put some kind of fencing around this. I'm not exactly sure what kind of fencing would be best for it, but I don't know. Maybe... They have a couple cool fences in here. We could do this little 
let's start with I think we'll start with this one but there's also like a barbed wire fence or we could do just a regular block below and then the fence above and then paint it all a certain color I'm not really sure but we want to make sure that it's not gonna just get ran through every time we get a wandering horde come through here because they're gonna keep wrecking this thing but I, I think this one will look okay as we put it around there that might work but that way at least it's somewhat safe I guess it's not really gonna be safe this is kind of just a vanity thing making it you know look kind of cool or how we want it to look but just kind of give it a little bit of space in there and hopefully this doesn't stop it from growing or not growing but I guess producing I'm hoping stuff like this doesn't stop it I don't know if it needs like certain amount of open space or anything like that I know there's some things in these mods that you if you put stuff too close to it it like stops working but we'll put enough space over here because we got to put beehives down too make sure we have enough space and same thing on this side and we'll leave the inside open that way we can put more stuff on the inside so this looks okay though I think it looks like you know kind of like a little farm I think we'll check out the beehive real quick the beehive should produce honey over time and I think something else gets made inside of it too I don't remember exactly what it is but the bee the honey will be perfect so we'll get that going and then I know we need to make a few more things uh, let me see yeah we can do some more of the animal snares down on that side I think I'm gonna eventually move them I also I I don't know if I need to refill those or not I'm not 100% sure but anyways okay so we'll look at that in just a second but yeah we got animal snares scarecrows we need to make those I need to get some more fences going and we need to do a bunch of chopping down of wood so we're gonna work on that over the next little bit but let's go ahead and get the fence at least finished first and then we can work on some other things so today's kind of one where I'm sitting at the base doing just a lot of this stuff Hawks went all the way out to do the chemistry station so while we were doing not to do the chemistry station but to work on the chemistry station way out at the trader that we found it in when we did our little road trip so it was good that we did the road trip at least we're finding a couple things that are helping out the team a little bit and then he's gonna work a little bit on the horde base he also found a really nice iron mine so those two things right there are things that he's gonna work on so I don't know I think this looks okay I'm gonna oh man I have to move this though so we'll move this out of the way I'll, I'll get this knocked down and then we might dig out the dirt right now I don't know we're kind of already hurting for time I'm glad we got the watch but looking down at the time we're spending a lot of time doing this and I don't remember if we changed the days we were gonna change the days from 60 minute days to 75 minute days instead of 90 minute just to see if we have a little bit of extra time but I don't know I think we hear there we go someone's in my farm they are getting in here just constantly constantly getting in there we'll worry about that later though eventually we're gonna put some defense on that or what we should have done is probably build in the one that we're actually doing our crafting area in but we're gonna have to I think there's a lot of crafting stations so we might keep spreading out in there too but we'll figure that out anyways I don't know it's so much going on darkness falls is an overwhelming mod if you guys are playing this mod let me know what you guys try to focus on when you're doing single player because even with two players I feel like I'm just overwhelmed with this stuff uh, make sure we have all that stuff come on I had a little bit of a little bit of infection my bad hopefully this gets rid of it there we go. struggling here there we go all right I think I think it'll go down if not we'll have to eat a little more honey here in a little bit I just kind of didn't realize that we were infected this whole time hopefully we're good drink a bunch a bunch of sap sap's been an amazing amazing find in this season Let's break through this too. Uh, yeah, we'll break this out, dig this out, and I don't know if we're gonna go more chicken coops right here, or we'll just do a fence here, and then we'll do chicken coops later on. Let me see which way we're gonna do it. Uh, but let me fast forward through this part, and then we'll get back in with Hawks. There we go, cool. Now I can upgrade my little fence to cobblestone. <laughs> nice. There's a fence around the little coops super important stuff <laughs> <laughs> it's really not okay next scarecrow do we can we make a scarecrow oh yeah keep those damn things growing while we're going wood cloth and plant fibers easy that's all it is yeah yeah oh my god i, I have to that's read if they're like a specific distance on them it's 16 16 chunks so Okay, so it works as a chunk loader. Be aware this may increase lag. Oh, good. Well, it'll be here. So, yeah. Space, so. Basically, don't put too many in there. Okay, I'll count it out. I should only have to put maybe. I would say two. two. Yeah, two max is all you're going to need to put in there. 
What? Where did I not follow? Oh god, no, I did not. I'm an idiot. <sighs> I moved the marker to the drop and I followed my hook marker, marker to the <laughs> drop out of the horde base. Oh, there's Ooh. another one. Get away. Die, big lady, die. The bad part about those is zombies will see it as a person. What's that? The scarecrow. Oh, so they might come attack it? No, it's not necessarily that they'll come attack it, like just outright, you know. But when they're there, they'll see it as a, a person and they might try to attack it if they're there. Mm -hmm. So 16 total? Yeah. Okay, so so he'll be right in the middle, like eight, right? Two, five, six, uh, seven. Sixteen eight. around. So sixteen in each direction from him. So like thirty-two total. Yeah. Oh, one of them's gonna cover the entire thing then. Uh, I just saw the I just saw a, a thing on it, the Discord about it today. And I can't remember. I'd have to go back and look at the pictures of it today. Yep, it's it's put down. We'll see. Okay. It's a chunk, so it probably it probably is at least it, it probably is kind of big. All right, I have placed it. We shall see. Gather cotton and aloe. If nothing else, I'm I'm over here working on it too. So. Okay. Let's we'll see. Let it roll. One, two, three. Uh, grab the iron real quick before it turns to nighttime. I can work on the base over here at night, but I can't grab the iron at night. Okay. It's right here by the base, so I'm good. Or rather, it's right here by the horde base. I need to repair you. My poor, poor little mini bike was hurting. It was down to like 1300, 1400. Okay. And how do I unlock the last? Oh, I gotta do Master Survivalist to get the, the large backpack. Is that where that one comes from? Yeah. What gotcha. else did I unlock yeah. for the cook? Or for the farmer, I mean. I can do the sous chef stuff. Short order, short order to cook. Cheese pizza, pancake. Oh, blueberry and banana pancakes. Marmalade oh, nice. toast. Orange tea recipe. Tomato juice. Unlock that. Army cook gives us sham chatter, hobo stew, fish taco, chili dog, yep. And sous chef, a whole bunch more stuff. Cool. Unlocked all those. All right, so this is editing TVF. We're gonna do one more sped up section here because I stayed at the base pretty much the entire day. This was my day to kind of get caught up with some of the stuff at the base since Hawk stayed back while we did all the adventuring. I figured it was my time to kind of stay and help out with some things at the base that I haven't really been keeping up on because he's doing the majority of the base work and the base building and I guess he's doing the majority of the everything but we're going to throw some storage over there next to the forges I'm going to get storage on the other side make sure we have tons of storage we're going to stick with this little floor storage thing because I think it's nice because then if they come in they're not going to break it if they bust through walls they'll still break the big stuff but at least they won't break the floor I don't think I hope but yeah we'll get this all cleared out and then I'm going to do storage all across the other side. We're going to do a bunch of storage down by the food areas. And then we're going to eventually work on some kind of outer defense stuff. So this place will be kind of safe. I still don't know if we're going to stay here. This is actually several days after recording this. And we've still talked about a bunch of times that I think we're going to go ahead and keep this as our horde base. I mean, our I'm sorry, our base place, just our normal crafting base place. Even though we should probably be like on a rooftop somewhere where we would be safer. Being ground level like this is probably not the best idea we've had. But I think it'll still work out. Like I said, we'll do a whole bunch of storage and then get everything sorted out. So I go, I like basically the next, from now all the way until mid in the middle of the night, we just do a bunch of sorting of stuff and try and get it to kind of make a little bit of sense. Because then we can kind of figure out what we have and what we need to really focus on. We're still hurting for ammo, we're still hurting for weapons, and we're still just really hurting for just progress in general. The bad part with that is we're leveling really, really fast. We're getting through a bunch of these levels really fast and we're going to end up out leveling and we do this in darkness falls every time we're gonna end up out leveling our like our own equipment and then end up with enemies that we can't even take out it's gonna be a little bit rough but we'll see how that goes in the next days i think tomorrow or the next day is a pretty big disaster day for me because we definitely run into a, a nice roadblock but there you go like i said lots of storage we'll spread this out all the way down there i'm gonna get everything fortified all the way around i think he ends up 
doing a lot of this to cobble or any, I think even cement, honestly, I don't remember for sure. But I did want to say, I'm going to, a normal outro me is going to be on here in just a second. We're still figuring out this format. I know we've had a couple comments on like suggestions on how to do this. And we are definitely taking those into account and we're going to try and work on those over time. And the biggest problem is with the mumbling thing. I, <laughs> we had a comment about that, how we just kind of just randomly mumble to each other. And it's more, it's more like we're doing like a stream than an actual episode. We want to make sure that these are more episodic where it's, it's actually fun to watch. And that, you know, I know we want to make it eventually to where you do have to watch both sides in terms of, you know, there's cool stuff happening on each side instead of just us always being together doing the same thing. So we're figuring all that out. But I did want to say thank you for everyone that supported us on these videos. It's been a lot of fun. We're going to try to really step up our the way that we do these things. And I think you're going to see a lot of improvement over the next several days. And then after the Day 21 Horde, we're going to try and do some really cool things. And we got some cool stuff planned for doing some multi, like not multiplayer, but PvP type stuff. And I think that'll be a lot of fun. But all right, guys, getting to the end of this is about to be outro me. Let's go. All right, guys, not the most exciting video. I know Darkness Falls is usually just crazy out there doing a bunch of things. But I wanted to today to kind of get an actual base set up inside of here. I'm going to fortify the outside and turn this into an actual like fortified bunker. I'm going to dig out the outside so that way we're not on the same level as what they'll be. So that way they have to fall into a pit in order to, I don't even know. I'm not really sure. I don't know if that, that same kind of stuff is going to work for Darkness Falls. We're probably going to end up moving, but I still, even if we're still here, I want to at least get a decent amount of organization going inside here. So that's what I'm working towards now. I'm going to work on this organization through the night and then tomorrow we'll actually go out and I promise we'll go do a little bit of adventuring on day 17. Wow, day 17 already. And then day, we should be recording day 17 and 18 back to back. So we have a bunch of these recorded for you guys for the whole month of June. Should be good. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Go check out Hawks channel. Make sure you subscribe over there. Thank you for joining us on this adventure. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.